Yo, yo, I'm Trigil Chris, and today we're heading to the Rule Factory. Let's begin choosing skins perfect for our other medication. Rolling papers made right. Clean filtration. This is a Shambon. This is about a 100 year old interleaving machine that came out of the old factory. And this is Maculada. She's a <laughs> bambunera. I mean, she worked in the old bamboo factory many, many years ago. And now we're here. So we start off the machine slowly. Make sure it loads. Ready? Okay, good. So for the next couple minutes, I'm not really going to talk too much. I'm just going to let the video speak for itself because I can't really show a crazy amount of the factory itself because I'm sure you guys can imagine there's a lot of secretive machinery there that I can't really show. But the actual time itself is just almost unexplainable. So I will do some explaining towards the end of the video, but uh, for the time being, yeah, just watch how it was to have the experience of being at the war factory. Mm -hmm. Oh, am I pressing the thing now? Yeah, press the blue button. Oh. Ah, que quiere el vale. How long do so I press it for? A little more. A little more. Uh, green. Green. Yeah. And then that goes into there. All right. Cuidado que tapas. So it was this one. Oh, that's that's two. And then. Ah, muy bien. Gap is made. Oh no! I dropped the, the thing. Okay. All right. Sure. And then flip, flip. Ah, sí. That goes Cerramos. into that bit or onto that bit. This Ahí. Bit? Yeah. And then. Cierras. No, no. Y esto hacia arriba. Ah, sí. ah then that goes into there. I see. Yep. All right, let's see Perfect. if I can do a smooth one. All right, all right. <laughs> you got this, man. Oh, yeah. You're doing great. Muy bien. Oh. Perfect, you got it. Sing. All right. <laughs> we go again, we go again. <laughs> We're working in the raw factory now. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no. it's the uh, wrong way up. Yeah. That needs to be that way. I see, I see, I see. Off. Got, got it. Mm -hmm. Get your pack. Put it in there. Perfect. You flipped it. Fold. Flip. Got it. Perfect, dude. You did it. You did it. You did it. <laughs> One left. Ooh. Thank you. Usually here. Yep. Sweet. Oh, I just made a box of raw. That's your box. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> so, we're out here at the factory. Yeah. Hey, we have a <laughs> lot of rolling paper behind us. Do. A lot of machinery everywhere. Just things doing everything, everywhere. The amount of papers that are here, I don't think people truly understand like the magnitude of just everything it is unbelievable. Yeah, I wish I could show you guys every little detail. It would blow your mind. It's really beautiful, and I'm so proud of everything everybody does here. It's incredible, mm. isn't it? It's just amazing. I haven't seen a single person here without a smile on their face yeah. either, so. Um, yeah, it's just beautiful. And it's it's rolling mm. paper. The product is meant to uplift people. Mm. So the people that make it should be uplifted too. 100%, and that's how everyone is here. It's just crazy. <laughs> All 
All right, so it's the next day and my hair is a mess because I've just been helping Josh film a bunch of stuff on the bikes, which shows some clips here. But that was a lot of fun cycling around this little town, Benamarful. It's um, just a beautiful place. Like the history here is insane. And right now I'm literally stood outside the gate for the raw factory. Everything's kind of closed for the day here because it's the weekend. But I'm hoping I showed like enough sort of like little bits here and there uh, in the day before. I'm obviously gonna have a little chat about everything that you know we've seen and, and the trip and how everything's kind of been for the last couple of days. But um, I feel like we need to go inside, see Josh and um, yeah, just have a tiny little chat for a sec. We have Josh here. Hello. Hey, and right here, it's the factory and I just think it's crazy because I've been here for a couple days now you showed me around showed me everything and I don't even really know where to start with like putting my words into like how amazing everything is that I've just seen but the one thing I wanted to ask you is obviously this is a lot yeah here. it really is and I just wanted to know what really goes through your head a lot of the time when you know you actually have to think about everything that you do because it's just so mind-blowing okay the trick is to not think about it at all because if you do you're probably gonna have a fall <laughs> it's um it, it's it's too much like it's, as i always told you as i explained to drew before this is not really this was not my intention i never thought i was gonna get to this level and i never thought i was gonna get this far mm. so the way that i cope with that is by not really accepting that any of this is really happening <laughs> i just go about my day just like it was as if it was still like 20 years ago you know what mm -hmm. i mean just enjoying the day and trying to get through it's amazing the abilities we have now, the things that can be created and manipulated and turned into something that I never even dreamed we'd be able to pull off. So I love that. I love that aspect of it so much. The responsibility that comes with it, no. What I told Drew before when we were smoking was, it's so much better to be the prince than it is to be the king. Oh, yeah. Oh, the prince has so much fun. <laughs> the prince is so much fun. But once you're the king, oh, my gosh, then you got you so, this giant crown of responsibility. And that's not really... It's not as enjoyable. So the hardest part for me is finding ways to continue to enjoy, to continue to get as inspired, to continue to enjoy every single day, just like as if this all went away. It's um, it's so hard to put into words, man. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> it's like one of the things I've learned from rolling papers through the history of rolling papers and so much that I've picked up over all these years is that it's ju you're just a small link in a giant chain and you want to be the best link you can possibly be, but that's all you really are. So like people, oh my God, you've done so far. Like, yeah, but I'm just this little link. There've been amazing people before me. There can be amazing people after me. I just have to be the best little link I can possibly be. And then someone else will take over after that and the history of rolling papers will continue. My hope and my dream is that this all continues. Mm. That is something I'm always worried about. It needs to continue in this amazing way mm. where people who are doing it are doing it with such passion and soul and from the heart that it shows in every sheet. Mm -hmm. uh, that is the perfect motto. And you know, I by, actually... Oh, I'm going to interrupt yeah. you. By the way, you said earlier I showed you everything. I did not show him everything. He has not shown me everything. <laughs> not, not just yet, but from what I've seen, it feels like everything. <laughs> yeah, but, you know what? what? One thing you just said really resonates with me. because sure. I think I told you this once before when we were hanging out, but it's the main motto that I live my life by, which is when I was about 14, somebody told me yeah. that you die twice. The first time you die is when you actually die, when your body stops working yeah. and everything goes. The second time you die is when the last time anyone says your name. Right. Nice. And if you do everything right in life, you never die. Okay, now I'm going to add to that. Mm -hmm. Knowledge is the way that we live forever. By passing forward knowledge and ideas. It used to be we would sit around a campfire and then we'd sit around and sesh together and it's all the same thing. We're all just passing knowledge forward. The human body, this doesn't really mm -hmm. matter. What matters is the knowledge, which is why it's so important to me to propagate knowledge forward, all of this forward, bring you here, bring other people here so that it continues. You know what I mean? 100%. If you hold on to a secret for too long, it dies with you. Mm -hmm. And what if no one ever finds that information out again? And then it's you, gone forever. What if you learned a special way to do something that no one else actually knew? Even though they think they know, they don't. Mm. And you're better at it than anyone else. And you know little nuances and details that no one else knows. Now, if you don't share that, it dies with you. Mm -hmm. And that would be a travesty for all of smoke kind. 100%. You never want that to happen. So no. anyone listening to this, if you do something, you have any mindset like this, make sure you pass it on. Yes. You have to. You have to, or else, it, or else it dies with you. And that's not the way. That's not the human way. It's not the way. Campfires, sesh circles, it's all the same thing. Passing that knowledge forward. That's how you should live life. Well, bro, it's been amazing being here. 
and um, I really hope to come back. Oh, shit. I told you to look at the picture before I brought it for you. Oh. Oh, my God. Josh wanted to take me to an old abandoned rolling paper factory not too far away. And um, it was quite the adventure. Do we have to walk across that plank? Hey! Alright, I'm going for it, I'm going for it. No hesitation! I've gone through mud across here, planks, except different things across to jump over there. <laughs> I love going to this factory, it's like one of my favorite places to go. And this is an amazing place to test, by the way. Oh yeah, I but can imagine. One spot I'm going to show you. It's the most Ooh. incredible spot, I think, to sesh in the world. Yeah? Yeah. It's a bold claim. Yeah, it is. You want to see it? Should I roll a joint? Yeah. And this like, dead tree has grown so high that it's gone through the roof. So is this one. It's so beautiful, I don't know how to share this incredible beauty with the world, but I try. This is where people were paid. The old safe in the wall, no different than a dispensary nowadays. <laughs> no way, that's crazy. Look, you can even see it's still painted. Oh, yeah. What? Yeah, that's where the workers got paid. <laughs> and all the office buildings throughout here, this new structure for all the administrative and the kitchens. And what, what year did this place officially close? Oh so yeah. Look up there. Look above. Those are collectors. See those up there? Yeah. They would collect the excess water so it wouldn't drip back down onto the machine. Oh. Want to go down? Yeah, let's do it. Right. What you think? No matter how big you think you are, you know that this is how it ends. And in a hundred years, people will be Maybe walking around. Yeah. yeah. Barely anybody remembers some of the old grades I study. De La Porta, people like this, I know the name. You'll see it on a poster or something around, but that's about it. Yeah. You would have taken like either linen, rags, things like this, hemp. Oh, shit, sure, yeah. And you would have, the one thing you want to do is you want to get it to start breaking down on its own. So you would stick it in there wet mm. and let it kind of turn to mush, basically. Yeah, yeah. To the extent you can. And then, or they could have been filled with pulp after they come out of what's called a pulping machine, which you take that stuff and turns it into, again, you're taking it right back into the, the basic fiber bundle. Mm. Um, pressed down, looks like a like a thick board, but it's kind of weird looking, it's kind of furry. And those you take and you, once you put, add the water back in, you can put it right into the paper machine. It depends upon how this was set up. Where do we go to the smoke spot? Oh yeah, we'll go there, don't worry. Oh yeah. It's just how we get there. <laughs> well, you said these are the old mixing tubs, but what, what would they be mixing? Well, they would be mixing pulp. They're called Hollander beaters is most likely what these were. So what you do is you have the pulp coming around like in a bathtub. There's some nicer ones that come around the corner over here mm. that show you better. Yeah, so these are called Hollander beaters. And what they did is um, you would mix, they would, they would have a machine right here, a big wheel, it would turn like this, and it would mix the pulp over and over again like a giant bathtub. And this is where you would kind of, it helps break it down, it also helps get much more consistent. This is of course based on my limited knowledge of what <laughs> I know it's not what we're here for, but god damn, that bit of graffiti is sick. Like, what is that? Is it, is it a dog? Is it a goat? Been there for as long as I can remember. <laughs> it's so good. Hope you have a chance to join me here. There's so much I want to show you. Damn, I just noticed this massive pulley thing. Where is it? This Show thing. Me. Yes, there's so many little things like that. That would have brought them stuff up and down. Again, the factory was multiple levels. So you had to bring them, you had to bring all the mm. different materials up or down, depending on what was happening here. In this case, I'm thinking it was linear, so I'm thinking this would have brought it down. Because mm. you would have mashed the pulp up here, it would have gone, to, it would have been opening somewhere, send it right down to feed the paper machine, but also you would have had to send the material probably down as well. Mm. It's crazy, then. It's just okay, yeah. okay, really. I'm surprised that's still there. At least people left a little bit of history. I have to head off to Barcelona. 
for Spanibis coming up. So it means this little trip is over. It's very sad. But Josh, it has been fucking amazing. Thank like, you. Man. Honestly, I could not have asked for a better trip. Oh, I hope that this, this place inspired you with the beauty and joy of what's really here. Oh, it really has. Yeah. Oh, bro. Well, see you soon. Thank you, man. Gas, man. That was a hell of a sesh. <laughs>